a hit record and like being the most talked about is all in marketing. Mm. Like it's marketing. Whoever's spending the most marketing. Like whoever's spending the most marketing bag at that moment gonna be the most talked about. Like when there's a new artist on the scene, guess what? The labels go open up the marketing budget and go make this person the most talked about person. You feel me? And you will understand once you're not seeing them talked about as much, it's not because like they're not popping, it's just because they stop spending the marketing. You know mm. what I'm saying? So why well, base your career off that? You know what I'm saying? Base your career. I base my career off music. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I base my I base my career off that. Soon enough, all the other shit that catch up to it. You feel me? Like I rather retire, slept on with forty platinum plaques. You know what I'm saying? Double platinum plaques and a core fan base that I can go out on tour and they'll come see me whenever I want to, and paid up then goddamn a uh, 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 fallen star you feel me yo what's poppin it's your boy mr j hill and welcome to another episode of the j hill podcast but right now i want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor that's top dog law so look man if you're suffering from medical malpractice a slip and fall especially a car accident make sure you call my guy top dog law that's top dog law on instagram and topdoglaw.com look if you check out his instagram you'll see he uploading big checks i mean like every day i ain't talking about the little ones the big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Why do people look at it in the first week? I'm curious. I never knew, knew why. I don't know. I guess they feel like that's, that, I mean, that's that's what say if, you know, how many people rock with you or not. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, but to me, it's really just, it's really about, like, how much noise you make the weeks leading up to that, for real. Like, how much, how viral you can go, you know what I'm saying? Cause okay. Like, it's really, that's all that is for me. Cause you've seen <laughs> have high first week sales and just dip. You know right. what I'm saying? So I don't really feel like it matter for real. I ain't never think about it. It's crazy because like usually like when I when we see the artists doing their um like their album running shit like that, they doing it like right when they dropping. Like they and even when I do interviews, they be like, "Yo, can we drop it this way? Cause this when I drop." Yeah. But that makes sense. You probably would want to yeah. do it. Bef- you probably would want to drop interviews like that before you drop. Yeah, I guess I guess that we want to have content to, you know, you want to have content to promote after that, like after that. Okay. I guess that's why they do it. But a lot of times it just be label. It be the labels trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, but. Okay. That makes I don't sense. really do a lot of interviews, honestly. For real. Nah, I see, I see. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you like <laughs> see a couple, but it's like yeah. ones that make sense. That's like what. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate you pulling up, man. Nah, for sure. For real, for real. Yeah, man. You ready to get this thing popping? And we got Young Blue in the building. What up, dog? How you feeling, what man? It, what it do? What we talked about talk a little bit off camera. We just talking about um, yeah, basically like first week sales and shit like that. Uh-huh. But the um thing that thing I I think that's interesting is are you you independent right now or you you signed again? Yeah, no, I'm independent. Independent. Right How is that for you? Uh, it's good. Like I said, I just um basically just put out my um put out my own music. I distributed through uh Empire. Empire, yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. hard, bro. Like the, yeah, the um yeah. the most interesting part about about you for me is the the business. Like mm-hmm. you're like super business savvy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what what where did you get that from? Did your parent was your parents like entrepreneurs or something like that? Nah, hell no. Nah. Oh, uh, I just get that from just you know I I don't know. It's just instilled in me. Like it's like one of the things about me that I just I always wanted to do because mm. I got a. A, a, a major feel like going back to where I started, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I'll never want to do that. So I'm always thinking of just different ways to, you know. But you had to lose some shit to, to to understand. I feel like a lot of times yeah. you really don't understand how to keep the money until you get it and lose it for real. Yeah, nah, nah, for sure. You had nah. to lose it. Like, what was the most yeah. you think you lost at one time? Most I lost at one time. Uh, I, I mean, I, I invested like 250 into a restaurant. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah, that ain't really just work out. Like, was probably like only up for like four or five months. Damn. And uh, that was a big loss. Uh, I don't know. On something stupid to lie. I feel like that's an investment. Like, that's 
That's something really like I ain't doing if you lose that because I end up not having a restaurant. You know, I end up not having a restaurant. I ain't make no money from it. So it was, you know what I'm saying, it was really a loss. You know what I'm saying? What about something like, I guess, you know, like, you know how get money and they spend it on shoes or like clothes. Oh, yeah, I bought it when I first got on. Yeah, when I first got on, like, I I was buying, like, a lot of cars, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. But, uh, I like I said, I've been getting money ever since, like, 2018, you know what I'm saying, like, just doing shows on the underground scene. So, like, by the time I really got to commercial success, I really had, like, a lot of, uh, I already had, like, every car I wanted, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, I already had all that shit. Like, it was old news for real. So, uh, I feel like I kind of say, like, me just being, like, back when, like, the mixtape scene, like, doing all the clubs and getting money back then, I feel like that saved me from a lot of the, the dumb shit that I could have did when I when I finally like got commercial success, you know what I'm saying? Because I, mm. I feel like I had already had a lot of, I had already like smartened up a lot of like, their first success is their commercial success, so they be already like, they be just not, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, They be just not catching on to like, you not supposed to do that. Shit. So right. I feel like I just kind of looked up and learned early. Yeah. Wait, so question, what, when you say, because I heard you say this a couple times, when you say like underground success, what do yeah. you categorize that as? Underground success, I mean, tell like, me a, a, a space in your career. Um, I mean, probably like around like yeah, like 2017, 2018, when I was like dropping mixtapes on Spin Real or like going number one on Spin Real of my mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? That was back when like it was mixtape sites where you like had downloads and shit. you get know, like 2.8 million downloads Damn. on my mixtape. I got songs off those mixtapes that's platinum, double platinum, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was underground success, but no, like, the underground people knew me, but, like, I ain't have no commercial success. Like, right. I went on, like, the, you know, at the awards, I won at the Grammys, and, you know, I wasn't being posted on, like, blogs, and, you know, I was just, it was just underground. I was just, like, doing millions and millions of streams underground, so. That's What's the first like, level of, like, um, I guess, success like big success right Mm -hmm. was that the the kevin gates feature that you had the song that you had with kevin gates with the um Uh, i just feel like that was big success or was that still underground yeah that was still underground they ain't they ain't become a success and really until recently like it was a success like it was like i was listening to that years ago yeah you listened to that years ago but it wasn't nobody knew it was my record until now you know what i'm saying so for real I don't feel like the world. Like the world what, ain't no. I thought that's what f- that was my first time seeing you. I thought that's what put you on for real. Am I? I mean, it, it did to the underground scene, but you know, it's different tiers. Like it's different tiers. Like it's it's local, and then it's like underground, and then it's like I feel like it's even another tier before it's commercial. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, like. It's like commercial. bubbling, I guess. Like yeah, like bubbling, bubbling, right? bubbling under. Then it's like, bam, you there. And then from that, it's like superstar. You feel? So okay. It's like it's commercial success, and then it's superstar. You know what I'm saying? What you think the biggest difference is from now, right, to the success you're saying now, mm-hmm. to the success that you categorize as being like underground? Uh, I mean, I feel like the only difference is like you know bigger deals. You know what I'm saying? Bigger mm-hmm. deals, bigger, bigger money. You know, uh, more leverage. You know what I'm saying? Cause back then, like, ain't nobody know you, so, like, people knew me, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it wasn't like you would just say my name in, in a room of, like, people and everybody know who I am, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? They'll just be like, who? You know what I'm saying? Like, who do you think academics and them knew who I was? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, none of the blogs, they ain't really know who I was, for real. I feel if like you I said just, my name. I just talk about, I just, it's funny you said that because mm-hmm. I just seen academics talking about you when he was talking about um yeah. Rick Ross uh, jet. He just bought a jet. Uh, yeah. You got one, right? Uh huh. Yeah, what the yeah. f, bro? Like, what, what was it? All right, so initially, yeah. not now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Initially, was it always for an investment or was it just a just a flex? Like, what was your thought initially buying a, a I jet? ain't never buy the flex, though. I already bought it because I was just spending a lot of money flying. I was just like, my will just buy, you, buy this mother. I just be doing math on doing math like okay how much I would I spend flying everywhere I need to go versus like if I just get a plane and just drive it for cost you feel me so that was really the the main thing behind that so before yeah. you got the jet how much you think you were spending in, in like air miles type 
Yeah, you know, you can spend like forty fifty for one the you know, one way. Wait. Because you was getting private jets, maybe you was renting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, charged. why you want just? Because most we see like that be like bubbling. They still do like the first class type. Shit. Why you want doing that? I was for a minute. You feel me? I was for a minute, and then I just got like I ain't really like going to the airports. I ain't really like how they treat me and shit like that. Like just like far as like you getting attitudes and you having to deal with like a lot of sickness and stuff like that. People coughing, sneezing. You know, I'm a German phobic, so I, you know, I got them. You know. It, I just like, I like to fly in private, like, you know, so I like to fly in private. So I really just basically just got in that community, start connecting with the people in that community, and my prices just start going down and down because I was just connecting with the people in the aviation community, you know what I'm saying? And once you kind of like in that community, like, you'll find out it's way more cheaper than what these charter people that's middleman, 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 it's, it's way cheaper than, than that cost, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Once you get in that community, get the pot of ticket. Damn. All right, so you bought the jet, right? And then did you learn the business after you bought it? Like, did you know that, like, bro, to park it, it costs this much. Mm -hmm. I got to pay for this pilot type. You already knew all that going into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I knew all of that because I had, I tested <laughs> it before Before I got mine, I had a smaller one. I had a smaller one. I was just seeing how that seeing how that was for, I like, I tried it out for, like, three months, and then I went up bigger. I, had, I started with a light jet, and then I went up to a super mid. Damn, so... How are you making money on it now? Like, how is it? Like, are you are you renting it out and shit like that, or is it just person just for I don't you? rent mine. I don't rent mine. I don't rent mine. It's really just personal use. I basically just, I I I, uh, I put it through a jet management company that uh, really just like do flights and stuff on it, and then they put it in my account, and then when I fly, I just fly free. Okay. So wait, wait, wait. So you 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 own it, mm -hmm. but the 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 company still uses it for other flights though, right? Yeah. So it's technically not renting it out. It's just like. A yeah. business that you, yeah, no, nah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. damn. So like, it make you how, how much you think it, it make you like a year now? Like, think I don't know, cause I don't really like. I really just got it on that jet management company. Been there for like four months, but like, I don't really like. You really never really gonna make a profit on it if you flying, and I be flying because you got maintenance, you got all this. Like, and for order for it to be charter, you know, what I'm saying you gotta have a lot of like certificates and like that, and. That's why I don't got it up under my name, like as ownership. You know what I'm saying? And I just got it in the, uh, I just left it in the person that I bought it from name, uh, just because he had all the certificates for me to be on the program. Okay. Yeah. But I would assume that that probably still saved you some bread on the back end, though. Like, I mean, I would assume. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, not really, cause I still paid the full. I still paid the full price. The only way I was, the only way I was able to do that was just. Connected with them and just knowing them because they usually wouldn't do it, but you know, damn, that's crazy. Cause yeah. it's fu it's funny you said it because again, I was just you was like um you wasn't really having in the rooms with the people that was saying your name. You said academics. I literally just yeah. seen that video yeah. of him talking about uh Rick Ross. And like, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Like yeah, that's it's like that's the thing to do, but it's it's kind of like. Like the business with Toro, I'm not saying that's Toro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I hear that you can make some. You can. It could be re really lucrative, lucrative if you do it the right way for real. Yeah, I mean it could be lucrative for you. You know what I'm saying? It could be lucrative. It, I'm pretty sure it could be way lucrative. Oh, I ain't getting no jet. Yeah, yeah. Nah, no, I'm nah. just saying like <laughs> for people. I'm just, just people. <laughs> you, you might, you might do. You never know. <laughs> no top soon. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's way more lucrative than the way I use it. But I ain't buy it to make money off of. You know, I bought it to fly without the cost you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and that's the way to do it like you know having on a jet management program you basically like throwing all the everything on that jet management program and and in turn they they doing flights on your so you can you know you don't have to pay for the parking and shit, i'm assuming i mean you do but they basically put when they when they pay for it then they take it out your account that you build it with them because they doing flights on your Okay. Okay. So you never you paying for it, but it don't feel like you paying for it because it's money that they going to make on you. Okay. So mm -hmm. it would be smart, like I guess, to put it in your name. It, well, unless you got just the money. Yeah, it wouldn't. I mean, it wouldn't be smart. Like you know, Ross probably got. You know, he probably got all that. Shit. Pretty sure he probably gonna wanna make money on his. You know, he probably took the time out and did all the charter shit like that before, but I didn't. Like I really just, you know, I was just trying to, you know, what I'm saying. I wonder what um again when I was just doing my research, I'm just like, bro, that's really yeah. in his business bag. Like, yeah, like you've been in your business bag, like your entrepreneurship bag for a minute. 
Hell yeah, I'm staying, staying, man. Question, you think that, but being so business savvy, do you Mm. think that, like, when it comes to the music and getting these deals, do you think that was a plus or a negative? And and I I ask this question because sometimes I feel like the more I know, because I know certain I ain't really going for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that don't. But now in return, I'm not in every room that I want to be in. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm not. I'm not getting the looks that I want to get because yeah, I yeah, know yeah, better. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think it hurts you sometimes? Yeah, I think that. Shit hurt, I think that shit hurt me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Just being like, sometimes you could be too smart for yeah. a lot of people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these people don't don't want to deal with artists who like they feel like know too much. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because like, damn, like how I'm going. Get over. <laughs> yeah, how I'm gonna get over, like, give you the short end of the stick if you know too much. Like, I'd rather go deal with somebody, you know what I'm saying, that I that don't really know too much. And a lot of times, those people that don't really know too much do get bigger opportunities, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, because they, you know what I'm saying, so. Because they kinda, take the opportunity over the money, kind of. Yeah, they take the opportunity over the money, but a lot of them end up up in the end, though. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It, it feel good during that time where, like, the opportunity to come and come and come, but, like, at what about the end game? Like at the end of the day, like when all that got them get the decline is like now it come down to what deal did you negotiate? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? What what did you get out the deal? You know what I'm saying? If you ain't get nothing out the deal, cause you just living in that moment, that fast moment, of like having everything you ever wanted. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, it, you just gotta like just weigh it. Like some people like want the, you know the right now some people like think about the long term and i feel like the way i'm pacing my career like i'm 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 finna get ready to get to the point where like i'm um i'm gonna be able to do all this stuff they could do for me like by myself you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying so that's kind of what i'm trying to get so at the same time on the front end of my career like i made all the right moves on it and then from that shit, i got damn made the right moves to uh Put myself in a position to be in the same rooms as like the opportunities they get because more moving off money. I don't give a what what it is, what type of relationship. No you got cap. the money to do it, it can happen. Money make the world go round for real. Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen. As an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. Yeah, I think, sure. yo, so question. Do, so let's go back though, right? Mm-hmm. Young Blue coming up. Yeah. Right? Like you hungry for it. Yeah. Looking at it now, right? Yeah, you successful and you can take care of your family. You're in, you're in a better position than a lot of people who who do get the look, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like we, we can say that. Does it ever be a time where, like, you want to get the the notoriety, right? Like, it's, do, does it ever be mm-hmm. a time where I could, like, man, I wish I could, like, trade off some. Like, not have yeah. as much money, yeah. right? Yeah. But have more exposure where niggas could really, like, know who the fuck I am for real. Um, I mean, I f- no, I feel like it's just it's just a chance every artist got to take. You know what I'm saying? It's just a chance every artist got to take. Like, maybe I will take it one day. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it's the right situation, I'm never going to get, like, I'm never going to let nobody fuck me. You know what I'm saying? But if it's the right situation, shit, mm. I don't know. It just depends on what you want out your career. Like, mm. It just depends on what you Wait, want. Wait, what, what you want out your shit? Shit. I just, I just want to... I want to be good. Like I want to be good and just looked at as like an artist who's smart, talented, and and you know, respected. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. I don't really care too much about like being like just uh, mega famous or uh, like that. Or like, everybody just you know. I feel like that's I feel like that's too much to keep up with. Like because you always got to be like when you that up. I feel like it's always room for like. 
people to say you, you know what I'm saying, going down because you just held on such a pedestal. I feel like being like underrated kind of like a good move. Ain't nobody like, like that just go back to the first week shit. Yeah, I sold what, 20, I sold like 20K first week on my last project. I ain't sell 100K, but nobody talked about that shit. Nobody talked mm-hmm. about it like as a failure because. Okay. Because niggas nobody, don't expect nothing. Niggas don't, niggas don't expect. Niggas don't expect me, like, you know what I'm saying, to to, to do that. Niggas yeah. just expect me to have hit records when they hear it, you feel me, like, and just be blue, you feel me? Like, a lot of these niggas got a lot of pressure mm. on them because people just expect so much shit from them. And I don't really like that shit. Like, I don't oh, wait, like wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, yeah. hold up. We ain't about to, let's not, let, let's not just, just fast forward through this. Yeah. Is that something you just, is this a place where you just got to? But, or, because like, it, it had to be a place back in the day where you wanted to be the, 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 the most lit or the most famous, no? Or you just always been like that? I feel like before I knew the industry, you know what I'm saying? Before I knew mm. I did all this shit is make believe, for real. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's all talk, for real. Right. Yeah. So, so once you found out it was like BS, it was like, man, I just want to make my money and just ducked off, be ducked off for real. Yeah, because like, I mean, realistically, like, man, a hit record and a hit record and like being the most talked about is all in marketing. Mm. Like it's marketing. Whoever's spending the most marketing, like whoever's spending the most marketing bag at that moment going to be the most talked about. Like. When there's a new artist on the scene, guess what? The labels go open up the marketing budget and go make this person the most talked about person. You feel me? And you will understand once you're not seeing them talked about as much, it's not because, like, they're not popping. It's just because they stop spending the marketing. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So why well, base your career off that? You know what I'm saying? Base your career. I base my career off music. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, base my, I base my career off that. Soon enough, all the other shit to catch up to it. You feel me? Like I'd rather retire, slept on with fucking forty platinum plaques. You know what I'm saying? Double platinum plaques and fucking a core fan base that I can go out on tour and they'll come see me whenever I want to, and paid up. Then goddamn motherfucking a uh, a uh, 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 fallen star. You feel me? It, it's Fucked crazy. Up. It's crazy. Famous. Cause I'm about to make an analogy, right? And niggas might kill me for this, but mm-hmm. I swear to God, I was looking, I was listening yeah. to your interviews, and I'm like, yo, this nigga, and the, yeah. this remind me of an artist. I'm gonna say that name, yeah. but what you just said made me made me think of him so much more. Yeah. You remind me of yeah. French Montana when yeah. you say that. Yeah. Cause French Montana got some. Yeah. He probably got some. He could probably got more hits than a lot of niggas yeah. think. Yeah. Like way more hits than niggas' favorite artists. Yeah, yeah. And he probably kicked up. And niggas really don't talk about him like that. Yeah. And then when we do see his name, niggas try to throw mad shade yeah, and shit yeah, like yeah. that. Like, yeah, yeah. but he got hit after hit after hit after yeah. hit. Yeah. Nah, for sure. That like, but I feel like that's. I don't know. It's just like I said. It just depends on what you want. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on what you want. If you want the start of now, there's some people that could do that. They could do both. I feel like I'm a person that could do both, but I feel like it ain't that time yet. I feel mm-hmm. like it ain't that time yet. Like. I got to make sure my front end straight before I'm at the point now I feel like I done started enough businesses, I done made enough money, you know what I'm saying, to where like my next deal situation cuz I'm on my last uh I'm on my last album with uh Empire uh so I'm finna be like, you know, super independent. But, you know, I'm probably thinking about going to like a major this time and and you know, thinking about it. But uh yeah, I might do something like that. Because I'm good, I'm good now. Like I ain't, I ain't losing nothing. So the, the, everything balanced now. Man, you know? it's so many places to go. Hold up, it's so many places. All right, so hold up. <laughs> Before we go into the business of the music shit, because I want to yeah. talk about that. Mm. It's not. If we had to look back, because I like going back. You feel me? So like, yeah. or you, or even now, you don't feel like you slept on, or you just don't care, or and and if you ever did yeah. feel like that, like where did that go? Like. Talk to me about that. Like, even if you grew past it, yeah. tell me about that. No feelings. Oh shit! I mean, I do feel like I'm slept on, but I understand like why I'm not slept on. I mean, I'm I understand why I'm slept on though, so it really don't make me mad. For real, it, or is that just right now? No. Tell me about the moments when it do when it do get to you, or no, it bro, don't ever get like, to you. You gotta look at it, bro. Like I know what make me slept on. It's because I really don't 
do the most. You feel me? That's mm-hmm. the only reason I'm like, bro, like when I be in my little mood, I just be hella talkative and just, I'm on blogs every day. Like, I'm, mm-hmm. I, you know what I'm saying? Like people like controversy these days. Like fact, if yeah. you could be one of those people that just like love controversy or love keeping your name in some shit. And I, I mean, I could, I could say some shit and if I just really wanted to like stir up the internet, nigga, I can go on a rant, get the distance and fuck you, fuck you, or get the talking about my experiences with girls and mm. all this shit and just be going viral every day. If I mm. really wanted to, it's in my power to do. You feel me? And just say all type of juicy shit that just make the blogs and no, shit. Just and then you got me. a lot of stories you can go, it's, it's, you had a lot of experiences, you can go in if yeah, you Yeah, like if I really just wanted to, but it's just like, is that me though? That's not. That's never been me. So and I never been really been comfortable being in that light. So sometimes I just be like, shit. These days you gotta be that to you gotta be comfortable being in that type of light, being judged all the time to be like viral. You feel oh, me? Wait, right there, right there. Hold up. So thinking about that outside of the industry, right? Yeah. Does that ever make you frustrated? Like, man, I like this is really the world. Like that is the world. It's the it's it's, it's a shame yeah. sometimes. I think like. That it don't make me frustrated, bro. It don't make me yeah. frustrated because I, cause, cause it's, 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 I'm past it now. Like I, I you didn't get too much money. That's why. Yeah, nah, <laughs> I, ain't, 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 I just like too much money, nigga. Nah, it's just like shit. It's like that's not really what I want. Like I want to blow up and if I don't, if I don't get there my way, then if I do get there, I'm gonna feel like it. What it ain't me, and I ain't gonna mm. feel good about it. So it's like shit. Why? If I'm feeling good right, if I'm feeling good right now, why would I? Why would I change? Like, mm. why would I change? Like, don't. And then at this point, for real, I don't feel like I feel like me changing up right now. After I've been this way my whole career, I feel like that's corny. Nah, P- people sure. look at and people look at me corny. Like if I automatically just start doing that yeah. out of nowhere You're and I them. never was like that, yeah. I feel like it'll be corny and it won't work like for somebody else that's been doing that from the get go. You know what I'm saying? Like nah, it'll just be looked at. Them. Who be a corner? You know what I'm saying? Nah, facts. You right. So I, I rather before I do that, I just let the music speak for itself. Like you know what I'm saying? If I wanna, like I'm rid of the type where I could put out a hit when I want to. Like I don't really. Every time I don't got a hit out, like it's because I'm doing some business shit that I'm just focused on. Like right now, like last year, I really just been like building my building my facility. Like I've been on, you know, I'm getting a lot of acting roles. Just started a production company, like all oh, that shit, like that. Take like time, bro. That shit take like months, months. You'll look up three months past, four months past, five months past. Yeah, to the fans, they like, oh, what, 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 blue ever. It's like shit. To me, it's like shit going by fast as fuck. Like I'm in a whole nother, you know. I don't want to be held to just doing this one thing that y'all think I'm supposed to be doing when I got so many other dreams mm-hmm. that if I don't start on right now, they not gonna be in full fruition by the time, you know what I'm saying? You so I dab, I did been dabbling, I did been dabbling everything. Like, But man. is that taking away from the, the music? Because you know, we, we, we want to hear the music. You just dropped the tape. Um, I ain't want, what's, what's Love Scar, Love Scars. Love Scars, right? Yeah. You just dropped that, but mm. you clearly was doing business shit. You was doing other things, right? Yeah. Do you think that get in the way of the music and do you think the fans can hear that, right? Like it's- nah. I don't feel like it do, cause like I swear I bro, I ain't getting not one bad review on this album. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't getting not one bad review on this album. People love the album. Like I said, like the only reason that they make this album as big as the other one because I ain't have no big. singles that I was pushing off there before. Like you know what I'm saying? That I was just going crazy behind. Like I said, cause I was doing some other shit. I really just dropped that for my core fan base. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It wasn't like one of those commercially promoted albums like that. Um, like, but when I get in that bag, like I could do that when I want to. If I go in there and I, you know, looking to make a single, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be play here and play here. Like I could do that when I want to. Like when I got like, you know, I got a, like a lot of accolades and shit that I'm I'm cool. Like I I never put myself in that category. I don't have the pressure that they have because like a lot of these artists have because I'm proven, bro. Like mm-hmm. whether it's on the underground scene, like don't know about it. Look at me as no. One hit wonder, you right, know what nah, I'm saying? You, Niggas you can't know. really say that. Yeah, you like you can't say that at all, honestly. Nah, you can't say that because I, I, I didn't had like a lot of records, like a lot of records. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's records you heard or not, records you didn't heard about, like I've had a core for a long time, so 
I ain't got that pressure like that other people got. Like, well, I gotta make it. I'm like, I'm cool. People know I'm a talented artist, all around artist. Like, mm. it ain't that pressure. You feel me? No, when I have a record, I got a record. <laughs> if I don't, like, I'm still blue. You know and, and, and and it it helps that like like you said you've been around for a while, yeah. so you was able to build up your uh your audience and shit like that. And then you had yeah. big hits. We'll get to that all, also with the Drake, but you didn't had yeah. you had other hits as well before that, right? And yeah. the fact that you're independent, yeah. you are kind of like reaping everything, reaping the benefit of all your own work, right? Like yeah. you don't gotta you know, you ain't getting going to nobody else. You are getting all your money on on the, on the top, yeah. bro. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, ain't, ain't none of that. Like, I, mean, I, don't, you, I don't look at shit like that. Let me ask you this thing, yeah. cause I uh, I'll be talk I was talking to a, I talking to a lot of artists coming up, right? Yeah. So many artists in the world, right? Yeah. And so, uh, it's, a, it's so, but it's more artists in the world that we don't know than we actually do. Yeah. No. Right. I was wondering, just with all your businesses, right? Yeah. Um, if moving forward, mm -hmm. if it had to be, you just be the richest person ever, right? You could take care of your family. Yeah. But. You never had a hit going forward. Would you be okay with that? And the, you just got the bag. I mean, all the reason that question, what make that question hard is because like, if you got the money, you got the hit. Mm. That's the only, like, if you got the money, you got the hit, bro. Like, bro, look, you go make the wackiest song that you ever didn't make. I mean, we if you got a million dollars like, to put behind it, bro, that shit gonna go. Like, if you got a million dollars to put behind it, and you making sure motherfuckers hear that bitch everywhere, like the, how the game is now, it's go go. Mm. I ain't saying that it's just gonna be like the wacky wacky song, but like it's a lot of everybody got right now. Though. That's what I'm saying. It, so I'm just saying. I you know, said you don't got to say it. It's a lot feel, of wacky Like I'm up. saying, bro, if you got the motherfucking budget to have everybody on TikTok, all the influencers on TikTok doing the dances to this weak ass song, <laughs> and you if you got that budget. Then it's gonna be what it's gonna be. It ain't got no choice because motherfuckers hear it all the time. So that's what I said. A hit is these days, bro. I mean, it's some good records, you know what I'm saying, that make it easier. Like, okay, you gotta look at this. It's like this. You probably drop a whack record that may take you a million dollars to make it a hit. Mm -hmm. But it's, you still can make it a hit with money, though. Mm -hmm. But I probably got a good ass record that probably only took me two hundred thousand dollars to make mm -hmm. a hit. That's the only difference. But both of them, if you spend enough, both of them can become grow. hits. You know I ain't I mean? gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it hundred though. I think it's the opposite. This your analogy. I think it's the opposite now. And me personally, yeah, because I'm coming up. You had you got a lot of success. So yeah. you good. You feel good. You got your money. Me, yeah. I'm still striving for it. So yeah. me and make me mad. I'm gonna yeah. be honest with you. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it hundred with you. It's like the whack shit yeah. take less of the effort than the good shit. And me personally. I feel some type of way about that. I be like, yo, it's so many. I see so much talent out here. And it's like, damn, it's so unfortunate because, like, you see so many good artists, just, like, really good, and they not as popular as the people that's making some bullshit. Yeah. And I ain't going to. I be like, Because damn. the people that's making the bullshit, they are spending more money. Mm. Well, it's just reason. catchy, too, though. I mean. It's catchy. Yeah. A lot of the bullshit be catchy. Like, just be like, all right. But what you got to look talent? at You got to look at this. All right. I'm going to get it to you from You looking at it from. A spectator fan for it. I'm gonna look at you. I'm gonna look at this from a business standpoint. If I could come sign you for five bucks, I'm gonna spend whatever to make whatever you drop popular, right? Mm -hmm. But if I got this other artist over here that make good music, got a core fan base, and they say, "Oh man, I want a million. Yeah, to sign over there. Smart, they smart, they savvy. Mm -hmm. They ain't like they know they shit intellectual. They like nah, well I've been making this, and this well I want this. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You may sign them, but you already in a million. Yeah. So is you gonna put another million? Facts. It's gonna be hard for you to put another million. You like oh if that shit go it go. If it's not you know if it don't then it ain't gonna go. Facts. If you if I sign you for five dollars, I got a million to go put behind marketing of that shit. Yeah. So. I'm gonna make it go. You right. feel me? So that's the difference. Like the artists that's like really good songwriters and the artists that make a good good music, they kind of know they worth. Mm. So like it go back to what you were saying. Kind of like too smart for the system. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? So it's like it take us longer than the people who like they just go find a kid from the hood. Ain't never seen nothing. They never had nothing. 
you know, making a little rah-rah song. Man, go on, come over here, man. I'm going to give you this. da 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 All right, fuck it. I just want to be famous. Right. Bam, get it to them. Bam, they blow up. A lot of times, more than eight times out of ten, that be their last yeah. shit. One and done, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, so that was the labels. They go, oh, he hot. Bam, go spend a million. Bam, blow that up. Bam, make all the shit diamond now. Make that money. Bam, oh, on to the next. Who the next little popping kid? You know what I'm saying? Why would I go spend all this money on this good songwriter, intellectual, fucking know the business, he know all this shit. Why would I go spend all this money on him? If I could go get the $5 kid and That's blow right. him up and Yo, put Yo, not to turn in. this into like a business podcast, bro, but I'm just, I, like I said, bro, I'm just, like just watching you, I just had so much questions about the business, because I'm yeah. not an artist, but I was curious, because yeah. you were so open with a lot of the business part, but I feel like yeah. niggas weren't asking the questions that I had, a, I was curious about. Yeah. So question. If you can break it down now, since you're yeah. out of the deals, yeah. you were saying at one point like somebody was trying to give you uh three hundred thousand uh -huh. for for like eight project like three projects, and then somebody gave it gave you that same three hundred for one project. Oh yeah, something yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does that work? Like if let's say the the, the label give you three hundred thousand for three projects, am I am I banking that does one does all the sales come to me now, and I'm banking that you're gonna sell more records that make me more money? Like how does that work? I'm talking about for the person that's offering you the three albums. Yeah, the, the relationship period. If I if I'm saying yo, I'm gonna give you three hundred thousand dollars. You gotta give me three three albums. Yeah. What am I banking on? Like what? How do I get my money back? Is it from the album sales? Yeah, it's from the, from the album sales. Like they hoping that you have a big single on one of those albums, or they hoping that yeah they could just recoup that three th three hundred thousand they they give you, and they hoping they could recoup that off of one song and the re the rest of it be just pure profit. So that's where it would go wrong for an artist not betting on themselves, I would assume. Because if you give me 300, right, and I say, yeah, and then my project hit, yeah, I probably could have made 300 million. Not saying I would have, but if yeah. I would have, now I'm hurting like, fuck. Like. But it's all a gamble, though, because what if you didn't make it? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? What if you ain't make it? I mean, if you, it just depends on what situation you're in. Now, if you already seeing that, you know, it's about just if you know the business or not. If you already seeing that, then you obviously they're going to have to give you more. Right. But if you just put your music out, you don't know where it's coming from. You just like oh three hundred thousand, shit. You don't really, you don't really know. Maybe right. it's cool for you to take the deal. Your first deal not always gonna be your best deal. Like I ain't had a best deal coming in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had a best deal coming in. Like I, I negotiated. What was your first deal? What was your first deal? Uh, my first deal was with uh, with my first deal was with Boosted Label. How much did give you? Well, I, I mean, get, I ain't getting, I ain't getting none. It's just I ain't, publicity type yeah. shit. Yeah, like I ain't. Wait, how old was you, you, was you then, though? I mean, cause that matters, right? That matters. Yeah, I, was I probably young. was like, I probably was like eighteen. I think I was like eighteen. Yeah, and Boosie, you probably looked up the Boosie at that time, maybe. Hell yeah, Every, yeah. I know that I was did. My favorite yeah. artist. I was like, hell yeah, shit, I'm signing the Boosie. I was like, hell yeah, I'm signing. It's the open. Oh, I was about to say, um, so yeah. like, so like, yeah, that's crazy, cause like, I would think. Outside of that, then yeah, right. Yeah. Your first real deal, because I guess that's like that's still yeah. So when I signed with Boosie, we signed a joint venture with Columbia, like mm -hmm. six months, uh, six months later, and um, I mean, I think I got, I think I signed them like, like one fifty. I end up getting like fifty thousand of that. Wait, how? What the fuck? Cause I had like I was who signed a joint venture. Okay, so, so it got to go to the the yeah yeah, first, yeah yeah you got to go the to the niggas the that lady. signed you and then yeah. yeah. True. Damn. So all right. So fifty to, is it like three or like percentages? Like how does that like? I'm trying to know the numbers. Uh, I'm trying. I'm, I'm what, looking the percentages? at percentages. Yeah. So how you get? How you end up getting fifty? Shit. I don't know. I think probably like uh, Boosie and Boosie brother split it. Oh, they, okay. They so split the other hundred. Oh, okay. yeah. It was, they split because Boosie brother brought me into a badass. Like he the one that found me and brought me to badass. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, Boosie was kind of just. You know the 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 face of it, but I was signed to. I really was signed to uh, through TQ. Okay. Yeah. Yo, how was that, bro? Think about like looking up, like just again. We could, we 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 both share yeah, that. Yeah. Like Boosie was like he still yeah. is like the godfather of my city. Yeah. I'm from Boston, like he yeah, you feel yeah. me. Yeah. But coming from being a fan yeah. to walking into the business, yeah. How was that experience for you? Like, how was it? I mean, I mean, like I said, like once you get older and start like seeing certain things, like you know, a lot of time business can't fuck up a lot of shit, like right, you know what I'm saying, true. you know. But 
like I said, I always tried to, I always tried to uh, just, you know, keep the best relationship I I can. But you know, so a lot of times, you know, business, uh, you know, get in the way of that sometimes. Yeah, it get in the, it get in the way of that sometimes. So it's it's crazy because you know. um, I was talking to uh somebody and she was saying like sometimes when you get in these positions, like she know better that she don't even want to meet some of her uh like idols. Yeah, Cause yeah. Cause you know how it can it yeah, could, yeah. it could, it could kind of like yeah. Yeah, but yeah. damage the relationship because now it's like I don't even look at you the same now. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that, that, nah, that, that, that'd be, a, that'd be it a lot of times. But, uh, you know, like I said, I just, you know, I just, I just maneuver the way, the the way I maneuver. Mm. You know, everything play how it's supposed to play out. That's crazy, bro. I, well, I'm glad you gave me that game. So, yo, um, it's funny we were talking about uh the big records you had. You got mm-hmm. a few, right? Yeah. The song you did with Drake. Yeah. Did that ex is did that? What's the word? Go past your expectations, or was it not big enough? What, what I'm just curious. Like, would that exceed your expectations? Or it was like, man, that could have been bigger. Just curious. Wow, I feel like that. Shit, I feel like that bitch going on four times platinum. Damn. So I, don't know, I feel like it's. I feel like that it's it's exceeded big. your expectations. Probably be. I mean, and it ain't slowing down, so it's like probably gonna be. Probably the next five years, it's probably gonna be nine. Damn. So, I don't know. I'm not much more bigger than Kenny Gibbs. No, I'm curious. I'm curious of what you think. Because, like, you know, Drake can really, like, we seen Drake, like, change, like, he, he probably changed your life with that song. But we seen some sh- situations where it was like, that shit was like crazy. I don't know the, the numbers, right? For, mm-hmm. I don't really know the numbers, but, like, we didn't see some shit go crazy. And I was wondering, yeah. when you getting on a song, Drake hits you, right? He going, he say, yo, send me the track. You send it yeah. to him, he send it right back, right? I'm wondering from you, like, is you thinking, like, man, it's about to do this? Oh, no, nah, nah, I already know it's about to go crazy. I mean, just off his fan base, you know what I'm saying? But I got songs that, I, I, I've i got I've got songs that's done the same amount of screams as your mind still, but Drake, that I got solo. That's mm-hmm. the thing. And that's what I was wondering. Like, if you got something that did the same thing, then it's like, how do you measure that thing? Right? It's like, I don't like. I don't even think that's my high. Like, I don't even think that's my highest. My highest. I don't think that's my highest screaming. Um, I don't think that's my highest screaming. Numbers is hard. I fuck. This is hard. Nah, for real though, cause I, I, no, I think I was just looking at that shit the other day. Like, I think I was looking at it the other day. Then I be trying to tell people like. I was just underground, like I said, like a lot of people don't know that, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see, it's your heart. Yeah. Like What's your highest stream then, let me, let me, once you pull it up? Like, all uh, time. Well, that may be, that may be my highest screaming, you know what I'm saying? But it just, it just It's not too far that. from your next one. Yeah. What's your next one? That. My next one, a song called Miss It. That one got um, 300 million. 300 million screens. So, 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 right there, right? So that's I think that's the question right there. You don't think that's if that's not if that's just barely hitting your your next highest stream, you would feel like maybe that was like, damn, is that a missed opportunity? Nah, bro, because that song big. Like the other song, miss the song, miss it is big, bro. The audio version, the audio version without even a video, got 113 million screens. Damn. You feel me? Like the video got 100 million screens. That's two hundred million streams right there. That's just on YouTube, like. But I mean, it's. I was, like. That's no feature. You feel me? Mm. Niggas just don't know that shit. My fans know it. <laughs> Damn, that's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. And you sit up here and you and you say you don't be like, man, these niggas is sleeping on me. Fuck these niggas. I just know my fans know it though. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like I could always pull the receipts if I ever need to. That's why I'm never gonna worry about an argument I'm getting into with anybody like about like what I've done because I got receipts that's a fact if I ever have to defend myself if mm-hmm. I ever want to defend myself like I got receipts you know what I'm saying Facts. I, I, I just feel like I don't feel like I ain't you know what I'm saying I don't feel like I've I've never saw that you know what I'm saying me coming up in that conversation you know what I'm saying uh about like shit like that though so mm-hmm. I, I ain't really ain't even never been on my mind because like I Never like it's like foreign. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like mind. foreign to me. Like I yeah. never like see people like saying shit like that about me. You feel me? Yeah. I feel like most of majority of people know. 
You know what I'm saying? That yeah. like like the niggas deep, that know they deep. know type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they they already know my body. They know how deep my shit, my how deep my pen go. Nah, fast. Right. Yeah, you do write. Jeez, you just brought yeah. up some other shit. Yeah, you be yeah. writing a lot too. Yeah, niggas bag well, bag go deep. So I ain't even nothing. When it comes to the music, I ain't even. I ain't even tripping. That's why that. you're trying to get into this acting now, shit. Now, fame and notoriety and shit like that, that's a different thing from the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times, like, it's a lot of people got, like, hella notoriety and and and, and, and not hella no, way more notoriety than me, but they selling way more than me. You feel mm-hmm. me? So, it's, it's, it's an imbalance. It's an imbalance in the game. Like, you never know what's, you never know what's going on with, with people. You just got to do your shit. Keep trying to be this person or compare your success to this person, bro. That shit just it make it it it, it make you get away from your core. Mm. Your core is more important than chasing their core. You feel right. me? If you fuck around, and lose your core trying to chase their core, and their core don't give a fuck about you for real. That's a fact. <laughs> Damn, that's a fact, and that's crazy. Even like think about the music you hear. So many people like getting these different bags. Yeah. Right. And, and, damn. Now as you bring that up, right. Some people, right, they make music and they, and they some people like they get they feel like they're getting caught up in a box. Yeah. And they be like, man, I want to do something different because I don't want people to box me in. Yeah. Me personally, I feel like it's kind of what you saying. I feel like if you stay there, stay the course, you'll gain more fans and you'll create a niche. Yeah. But the moment you try to like jump ship the ship because it's like, man, I don't want to be in a box, I, I feel like it kind of do more harm. Yeah. Do you feel like you you want to just stay on one type? Of- nah, I feel like I came in the game on some different shit though. I, I literally came in the game like. I got man, I, I really came in the game like in my mixtape, like investments day, I was on some gangster shit. Like I was rapping like I got nigga, I got songs. I got songs, goddamn, nigga, I was with Dirk and shit before he was even Dirk. Like mm-hmm. that we doing they got 30, 40 million screens, you feel me? Like I was on some gangster shit back in the mixtape day. Like my first R and B song was Miss It. Like that, that was, was my first R and B song. M's. Yeah, that was the first time I did R and B. It was like, damn. Of course, I'm gonna be like, damn, this shit went this crazy. I'm finna keep doing this <laughs> shit. This bad. Then I started just kept doing that shit. Then I just started getting like hella popular with that shit. So, what the fuck made you do that though? Like, what made you like? I'm gonna just go from gangster shit to like I'm gonna start singing. But know? I was singing like gangster. Like I wasn't like on. I was like singing gangster. Like I was also like street gangster, like gospel shit. Okay, you feel me? And then I'll make, you know, girl versions and shit too to some shit, but it was still like gangster. It was like gangster love song. Right. Yo, I don't know, bro. Like, I ain't never really put myself in no category. I did all type of shit. Like, I did all type of shit. So people like, when I do something outside the box, he ain't really. Sometimes I try to do shit that's bigger in a. I try to do shit that's bigger than where I'm at, like, as far as like system wise. You feel me? Like, for instance, like, um, like I had a song with like uh, Zayn Malik, you know, from one from One Direction, and it was a big song. It was a big record. Like I love the record. Everybody loved the record, but it was like it's a song that I should have dropped like while I was on a major. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like I I dropped it like you know me kind of doing like most of everything by myself. So it's like it couldn't reach all those channels yeah. that it was supposed to reach. So I do for a lot of times. I feel like I make music to like where I'm at. I know I don't have like the. I be wanting to make these. Like I know I can make these type of records, but I'm like I ain't got the. It don't make sense. Backing, right yeah, yeah, I ain't got the backing to reach the ears that I want to reach. That mean, it's like kind of like uh, when Drake made uh, Sticky. I think yeah. that's the name of it, right? Like yeah, yeah. you gotta be like yeah. a big time nigga to to make that in that moment. You gotta hit worldwide. You gotta be able to. You gotta be with a label that can press your button and your shit be worldwide and right. the world hear your shit. Like it can't be like even Kiki, like some shit like that. It gotta be like you yeah. gotta be. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. But yeah, it's like that. But you know, yo, another thing I thought that was a, a observation. Like you don't mm-hmm. really be, you don't really play the social media shit like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know how. Like I don't know how the fuck motherfuckers be. Like I don't know how to do that. Um, uh, like. Nigga, man. just flex, show your shit. Like, you got a lot of shit. You got here for me, just flex on these things. I niggas. don't even know. I don't shit. I don't be shit, bro. And to hear you talk about marketing <laughs> so well, it's crazy. You would think you would be out this motherfucking marketing and shit. I, just, I mean, like, I do it sometimes. Like, you feel me? I just feel like 
I've done it so much. Yeah, like, myself, I feel like it was a time where you was getting in your bag. Yeah, I, you, it used to be a time that I used to be in that shit, but I was like, oh no, bro, no, I just, I just feel like I'm just, I'm really like, people don't even know how long I've been in this shit. A lot of people like feel like I've been in this shit since like fucking 2021 or some shit, but like, nigga been in it. Well, I've been in this shit since 2016, like 2017 when I first had my first buzz and records and shit. So, I'm just off that shit. Like yeah. I ain't really like. You think when media. you was when you was um on social media, talking your shit and shit like that? Do you think that fucked up the money? Do you think if like do you think something happened where it scars you? Like man, I ain't fucking with that. Uh, I don't think it fucked up no money. I just think that, you know, I'm a personal nigga. Like I'm like I like to keep the shit that's hell dear to me. Like niggas be like, man, you should post your relationship more you should do this do that because i you know i could do that like i could flex me i could, I could post me and my girl like you know what I'm saying? Da, da, da. i just shit that i hold dear to me that i really really care about really love like i don't really like it to be scrutinized by the world you mm -hmm. feel me like you know i just like the whole i like to just keep some shit to myself you feel me and like i post probably every now and then i post my kids or you know but a lot of shit I just like to keep to myself for real. Though. And that's just how I am. I don't like for the world to know like every every single thing about me. But I feel like that's what make these people like viral stars. Like people know every little thing about them. And that's what makes it so them viral because you get to scrutinize every single part about them. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But that shit not what make me happy though. Mm, like that's a fact. Me and even like outside of scrutinize because you right yeah. like sometimes and i feel like i be trying to get people to understand like sometimes mm. the relatability do so yeah right like just talking about just telling your truth like let's say cardi b yeah i feel like she's one of one of the few people that really did a great job at like just coming up and just being her and people yeah. just love that though yeah like, but that's her though like her personality is her like if i had that type of personality then that would be blue you feel mm. me that's not my personality no, so okay. I, i'm Forcing it to be my personality is like, he ain't gonna be happy. At the end of the day, I gotta go home happy with myself. You feel mm -hmm. me? I'm not finna just cause y'all tell me to jump through hoops and, oh, you should do this, you should do that. And now, could I try to do more content, like more interviews, more shit like that? You know, people wanna hear me talk and shit like that. Yeah, I could do more shit like that. But it gotta be natural, you feel mm -hmm. me? It ain't finna be no crazy shit. And the crazy shit, the shit that go like, crazy viral <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, some i ain't gonna lie to you bro like yeah. sometimes and i'm that's what i'm feeling about this 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 interview space because sometimes the good shit be going viral too yeah. like some real shit and yeah. say some real shit sometimes like, though not yeah. 10 percent nah, out of 90 right. times 100 that's why no, nigga you, see yo nigga see you talking good and like like no lie like we ain't really talked about shit like interesting for like the masses to jump to you know what i'm saying so we talking about real life shit mm -hmm. like business and shit niggas don't want to hear about that niggas don't want to hear about that i'm with you I, it's funny that you said that i'm with you i'm with you because like I, I talk about this with my team all the time if anybody with you i'm with you so i'm playing devil let w. me say goddamn i want to fuck uh making good let me say i want to fuck making good Oh, I got a crush on this person, this person. This shit gonna, gonna go crazy. Go nah, facts, you right. You, you listen, it. when I say you right, I, I swear, bro. <laughs> I swear, bro, I swear. Like, I can I'm, get on this bitch and be like, man, what you wanna talk about? Man, let's talk about this. Bam, all right, we go on this bitch and talk about it, and I'm gonna say this shit, and this shit guaranteed to go viral. I get it, and I can ask the questions to go viral too, but yeah. honestly, this just would, like, this is like, yeah. you feel me? Like, you ain't tell me what not to talk about or nothing. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. but. It wasn't like because we could talk about those things. It's not that, but yeah. it's more to you on some real shit. Because I talk yeah. about everything, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm t just in my experience, right? Because I've had best of where I've had like shit go viral, like shit. I just had the the Meek Mill yeah. and drama yeah. shit go viral, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But the I swear I can't make this up, bro. Yeah. It be the conversations that be like real shit. Yeah. That might not look like it go viral, but they yeah. still do more numbers on the back end, like yeah. you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the people's know about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. And that shit matters more because that's when you get the fans that's going to stick. Yeah, nah, that matter. That matter more. It 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 matter more for sure. Like a lot of niggas not getting me in the interviews, like act like asking the crazy shit because they know like general, like in general, like that's not what people 
tune in to Blue Fort. You feel yeah. me? So you probably a lot of you know crazy shit. You probably like out of your head that you probably would want to ask, but like you know what I'm saying, you probably got some more shit like that you want to like real shit you want to ask. You know what I'm saying? And that's what a lot of my interviews be. That's why I be like picking them. You know what I'm saying? Like I pick and choose my shit. Like I don't do like every interview they send at me mm. or like every like you know what I'm saying. Sometimes I get on. I probably go fuck with Angela Lee, Yee, talk a little spicy and that's shit like dog, that. Though. Time, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. yeah, but that's my yeah. That's my. It, it really be people I fuck with, so it could be like real conversations and shit like that. Yeah. Um, but but hey, now yeah. I don't have nothing crazy. Like I honestly, bro, I really. Cause I don't be putting that shit. Yeah. That one, I don't, I don't and, but but it. some of the shit it just don't make sense because a lot of the shit that that would be crazy is old though. Yeah, like it probably wouldn't make sense. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying like. So like, like oh yeah oh shit like yeah. I, I be having no times now I get in my mold like <laughs> and it really be like if I'm in the building pro- like if I'm in the building process if I'm building something if I'm working on something I really go quiet like mm-hmm. I go I go like hella quiet like bro I done had so many like like this in my career like when I signed to uh, when I first signed when I had like Miss Ice on my baby number mm-hmm. baby, you know that was up yeah then I kind of went down you know what I'm saying Ice on my came, baby was that with uh um that was with Columbia. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like I had the, the even the times for that, like the mixtape days, like and shit like that. Where I was like, you know, I done had like so many different levels. That's why I just, I really, low key believe that I can turn up anytime because a lot of niggas just have one trajectory up, down. Facts. Like I done had, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's the game though. Yeah, you we know that. Me? That's the game. Yeah, got it. Yeah, you got. You know, what I'm nobody finna be like this the whole motherfucking time. You feel I me? Mean, so, unless you Drake. I mean, that's, that's different. That's, <laughs> that nigga different. That's different, God damn. That nigga different. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it is what it is, It's different, though. That shit for real. Yo, all right, so, okay. Yeah. You 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 level-headed, right? We see that, right? You get into the bag. On the other end, then, right? You got everything that you wanted. On the other end, I guess, what are some of the things I that... Like, I don't feel like I got everything I want. That's what, that's what I'm asking. Like, what, what do you feel like is missing there? Because it seems like everything is just know. going good. What, what's, what's, what, what, what's the things that do frustrate you in this moment, in, in, this, in this space? Um, what, what frustrates me? Uh, man, what are some of the things know. that make you oh, hear yeah, me? Like, my man, my, my team going to joke on me. What are, what are some of the things that make you like me, like, like a regular person? Like, what are some of the things that you do get, like, man, upset about? Like, man, fuck. Like, um. Uh, I mean, I feel like the only shit I get stressed about really, the only shit that I get stressed about really is like music. Like sometimes I be stuck on like, you know, like how to promote certain shit, like, uh, like how to market certain shit. You know, so everybody have like I be having problems with the labels and shit sometimes. Like, um, just like shit that every artist go through. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, trying to get with the new wave and shit like that, like all type of shit. Like, you feel like you're old soul, like you you're not really fucking with the new wave now. Yeah, I ain't. I'm fuck. I'm fucking with them. I just. I feel like. Um, yeah, I just feel like shit. Like the dances and the TikToks and the shit. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. That shit you gotta do. Like you gotta get. You gotta get with the new times. I'm just trying to find out how to do that shit without it being like. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? How to do it and it be like you. Like it organically yeah. makes sense. I'm kinda mm-hmm. like in a in a moment right now, I'm trying to figure out like, okay, like how can I like you know, get with the times but still stay true to what I got going, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And you know, so that's kinda like what we strategizing right now and shit like that. But that's the only thing that kinda Bro, like, you can't, bro. You just gotta go ahead and start saying fuck everybody, bro. You just gotta go out here and say, Yo, uh, fuck y'all niggas. Y'all niggas is not better than me. Y'all niggas can't sing. You niggas just got all these motherfucking writers. Uh, you gotta uh, just fuck it. You just gotta do that, bro. <laughs> shit. I, uh, you gotta get with the t- you gotta get with the program, bro. That's the that's the program. That's the program. Or oh, hop on TikTok, do a dance, you know what I'm saying? Get one of these little TikTok. Hop on um You know Yeah, man? I feel I feel like that's the I feel like, you know. You gotta. You can't be that. Oh, you can't be that. I can't. I, I start considering myself old here, but you can't be that person that be like, ah, you know, what I'm saying, fuck all the new, all, all the new shit is whack, and you know, fuck that. I'm gonna stick to the old way, cause that's how you like. You got. I can admit that I'm trying to find a way to like get with the new shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm trying. I'm. You know, you sometimes you gotta sit back and strategize. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
sit back and strategize. Because if you don't ever take the chance to sit back and take the time to sit back and strategize, you'll keep doing the same shit that you was doing before. Because it's just like a line, line, line. Sometimes you gotta take a break. Okay, what's the plan? I right, bet this the this the new shit. Okay, let's find out how to do what we do, but do it in this way yeah. now because this the new way of marketing. Like you know, what I'm saying like if 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 you just had three back to back hits on radio. And okay, ah, radio seems like it ain't that effective no more. What's the new wave? Okay, TikTok and YouTube shorts and all that shit like that. Okay, now we gotta strategize how to do that shit the same way we did radio. So it's just like you just gotta uh, figure figure that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Yo, bro, when um when you figure that out, bro, can can I can I do an interview of you on your uh on your private jet? Bro? <laughs> yeah, on my first TikTok song, <laughs> goddamn. I want to get I want, that first TikTok hit. We gotta interview you on your private jet, bro. Yeah. You gotta like shit on niggas sup through though. Like you feel me? Like <laughs> you know how to do it, nigga. You just eating on the on the private jet, nigga. You you know how to do it. You gotta do a sup through, like Man, no, eating man. on the private we, jet. We, we, we can do it. We come like I said. We, we can come to the facility. Like, I want. I'm gonna have like a little podcast shit set up in the um in my facility too. Like I'm gonna have like a podcast shit. Set up Moonball University exclusive. Uh, so when like I have like interviews and shit come, mm -hmm. we can interview like at at my shit and it'll be like a Moonboy exclusive oh, that's hard. with your, you know, like a collaboration type shit like that. Bro, hot bring mm -hmm. me on board, bro. Nah, you know what shit. We get some I'm, shit rocking for I'm, real. Shit, I'm with it, bro. Like I'm, ass, man. I'm 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 dead serious, like looking for some like some shit to do. Cause I got like this big ass room that's like I was like, man, what what can I do here? I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just put like a podcast in this bitch and and just do something because I already got access to yeah, everybody. I, mean, I come with my own shit. You see, I come with my own shit. You man, know what I'm saying? Let's, let's and this is only half of it. We got some I wanna, other shit. I want to do that shit. We gonna talk about some shit though because I I, I want to build some. I I I got. I, I want to build some shit though. I want to build some shit like these niggas killing it, bro. We gotta we gotta do it. Yeah, nah, no cap. This is the new way for real, man. Nah, for sure. Yeah, yeah I appreciate yeah. you pulling up, bro. Nah. Um, any missed opportunities? Anything we ain't talk about that you you, you gotta get talk about? Uh, nah, no, no, hell no. Nah, Love scars is out right now. Yeah, uh, yeah, so uh, it's, it's going up. Um, yeah. again, I fuck with you. I appreciate you kept your yeah. word. Yeah, you made it work. Yeah, yeah. Um, since you answered the DM, I I ain't wasn't even expecting that shit. Hell nah, nah. I told I I I had to goddamn get it in because I I fuck with your shit. I be watching your shit. All the time, I was like, man, I just, it'd be hard for me, man, Atlanta be a long-ass drive, yeah, and it'd be a that. lot of fucking traffic, bro. Yeah. It'd be a lot of fucking traffic, so I just had to get out this bitch. I was out here um, having a meeting and shit, I was like, man, I, I told bro I was going to hit him up when I'm down that way, so I, I be keeping my word and shit Yo, like that. Yo, what, what, it's funny, you got, because you got an estate. Yeah. What categorizes a crib as an estate and not a, a big-ass house? <laughs> like what's the difference? You tell me, please educate me. Shit, I don't shit now. Some shit I don't know. Now I don't know what I guess niggas just call it a state. Because right. it's big as fuck. I mean, yeah. I think it'd probably be like the land, like the amount of land it is. You know what I'm saying? No, I think a state is your main a a mansion that's your main place of staying. You feel me? Mm. But my I don't live in mine no more, so I mine is just a property now. I got another house. That's oh. just my, that's just my like business property. Like the whole thing is Moonball University. It's like a campus. You know what I'm saying? Sheesh. So this nigga is out of this world. Yeah, bro. I had to turn it. I had to turn it into. I had to turn it into some great shit. So I'm gonna be like renting it out. It's gonna be the headquarters to my label, my production company, and shit like that. So we building it out, bro. We building that shit. I appreciate it again, man. Young Blue, okay. J Hill, J Hill Podcast is wrap. We out.